28 high and low pesticide residue fruits and vegetables. Pesticides are used in conventional farming to maintain crop health and prevent infestation from pests. While we're assured by authorities such as the Department of Agriculture that pesticide residue on produce offers no threat to our health, Consumer Reports found that 85% of more than 1,000 people surveyed were concerned about pesticides on their fruits and vegetables. And the Organic Trade Association reports that 51% of families are buying more organic products than in 2014. Human tolerance levels are calculated for individual pesticides, but most samples have multiple different pesticide residues on both fruits and vegetables. Well, a Food Safety and Sustainability Center survey found that a third of Americans believe laws limit the number of different pesticides allowed on food. In reality, almost a third of fruits and vegetables tested by the USDA have two or more different pesticide residues. The effects on humans of such mixtures are untested and unknown. Organic produce is expensive, so knowing which produce has the highest levels of pesticide residue can help you choose what you buy organic and save money. Each year, the Environmental Working Group does its own testing of produce and publishes the Dirty Dozen list that includes 12 foods highest in pesticide residue. Here are the 2015 results and other data that you can use to make wise organic shopping choices for your family. Apples are number one on EWG's list, and 99% of all apples tested were positive for pesticide residue. In 2012, the FDA found 36 different chemicals on apple samples, half of which are neurotoxins that may cause brain damage. Raspberries are dusted with 39 chemicals, and 58% of tested fruits registered positive for contamination. Strawberries are the highest pesticide-dosed crops in the U.S., with 300 pounds of pesticides applied to each acre and 36 individual pesticides found on each fruit. Cherries have as many as 25 pesticides per fruit. One grape has 15 pesticides, and 35 different pesticides are typically used in vineyards that grow them. 45 different pesticides are regularly applied to peach crops. 98% of peaches were found by the EWG to have at least one pesticide residue, and the skin of the peach does not offer any protection. 97% of samples of imported nectarines were found to have at least one pesticide residue. Spinach is number seven on EWG's list, and leafy greens and hot peppers are often contaminated with pesticides known to be particularly toxic. Sweet bell peppers are number eight on the list as one of the highest pesticide-ridden foods. Celery is grown using at least 29 different chemicals that cannot be washed away as celery does not have a peel. Cucumbers are number nine on EWG's list. The FDA confirms that more than 30 pesticides are used in growing tomatoes, and the skin does not stop the pesticide chemicals from infiltrating to the inside. The EWG found single samples of cherry tomatoes to have 13 different pesticides. Snap peas were found to have 13 different pesticides. One average potato was found by the EWG to have more pesticides by weight than any other type of produce. EWG also publishes a list of clean foods, and in 2015, avocados were at the top of the list, with only 1% of samples showing any residue, along with sweet corn, cabbage, frozen sweet peas, onions, asparagus, eggplant, grapefruit, cauliflower, and sweet potatoes that also made the list of clean foods. No residue at all was found on more than 80% of pineapples, kiwi, papayas, mangoes, and 61% of cantaloupes. Organic produce sales rose from $5.4 billion in 2005 to $15 billion in 2013 to $35.9 billion in 2014, a clear reflection of the concern consumers have with pesticide residue on their food and their desire to eat clean fruits and vegetables.